The class of 2014 is comprised of many exceptional young men and women who have learned that they are only as strong as the weakest link in the chain. They have forged the bonds of trust that enable them to develop into, into individual leaders of character and to form the cohesive class presented here today. I now have the privilege of introducing one member of this exceptional group who has earned special recognition as this year's distinguished graduate. The distinguished graduate is the cadet with the highest military precedence average, which includes academic, military, and physical components of the entire 200-week program. It is with great pride that I introduce this year's distinguished graduate, Cadet First Class Stephanie Joseph. California, a marine and environmental science major. She focused her studies on chemistry, physical oceanography, and oil spill science research. Cadet Joseph rode on the women's crew team. She served as president of the cadet peer counselor and peer tutor programs. She participated in life mentoring and lead mentoring. She served as a member of Cadets Against Sexual Assault, Alpha Lambda Delta, Officer Christian Fellowship, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Ski and Snowboard Club, and Women's Leadership Council. Within the Cadet Regiment, she served as the Community Service Master at Arms and most recently as the Community Service Department Head, in which she facilitated the completion of 147 separate community service events totaling over 12,000 hours volunteered by the Corps of Cadets this past semester. Last summer, First Class Josephs attended a Marine and Environmental Science Summer Internship at Florida Atlantic University Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. Her research was presented at the Ocean Sciences Meeting 2014 and the National Conference of Undergraduate Research. This past year, First Class Joseph continued oil spill science research and was awarded top poster overall at the Inter Academy Chemistry Symposium at the Air Force Academy in April. Next month, Cadet Joseph reports to the Coast Guard Cutter Cypress in Pensacola, Florida as a deck watch officer. Ladies and gentlemen, Cadet Stephanie Joseph. Good morning. The Honorable Secretary Johnson, Admiral Papp, Admiral Stowes, Dean Colella, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family and friends, and the truly accomplished class of 2014. I'm tremendously humbled to stand here before you today, excited and grateful to have the opportunity to serve as a commissioned officer in the greatest seagoing service, the United States Coast Guard. Today, as we graduate and prepare to join the distinguished long blue line of Coast Guard men and women, I'm reminded of our class motto, honor the past, guard the future. As part of honoring the past, I would like each of you to reflect on how you came to attend this beautiful institution. For me, it was during my sophomore year of high school. I was sitting on the couch in Southern California with my mom, watching the movie The Guardian. Once the movie had finished, my mom asked, what's the Coast Guard? So she opens up her laptop and searches on Google. After a few minutes, she tells me, hey, they have a school and it's free. You should go there. <laughs> and here I am, after four long years, heck, after just four hours, I quickly learned that it is not free. <laughs> The Academy pushes you to your limits. It is a series of sleepless nights, endless trainings, and long sports practices. So how did we make it through those days that seemed to never end? I think of our time here as a revolving door. We, each of us, entered at different points in our lives from di diverse places from around the world. Then we walked in circles as we made it through the 1,424 days of our academy experience. Reveille, snooze, get up, go to formation, family style breakfast, classes, sports practice, homework. Maybe try and find some time to sleep and then hit repeat more than 1,000 times. Often, that is how it felt. The grind, the same thing, Day in, day out. Circles, 
Other days, we would be running, attempting to keep up with the daunting schedule that we faced each morning. But soon, those barriers, those individual entry points into that revolving door, began to fade, began to disappear. Sometime early on, we began to walk in step together. More importantly, we began to rely on one another. And so, end of fourth class year, 1,105 days to go. We were, in some ways, sheltered from the outside world. There were times when we felt isolated from our friends attending other colleges who were able to go out on a random Tuesday night. What a concept. <laughs> but inside that revolving door, we found something unique. Once we took the time, once we took our eyes out of the boat and looked around, we discovered that we were walking with some of the most incredible people. We learned from one another's individual experiences and backgrounds. And in that way, each of us was changed. We walked together. We struggled together. We succeeded together. And so, end of third class year, 739 days to go. At times, this rotating door seemed to slow to a stop, each of us waiting to exit the other side. At other times, we felt we could not run fast enough to catch up. But either way, we had our shipmates, our new family, our best friends to pick us up and encourage us to take the next step, to keep moving forward. We have classmates like Gary Ezzo and Matt Monahan who kept sprinting and probably will continue sprinting until they retire. Emily Marks, captain of the women's soccer team, who overcame injury and supported her team every step of the way while battling the hills of the academy on crutches. And we could always count on Tristan Taylor and Walter Heaney to provide comic relief and remind us of the needs of the service. And in this way, we helped one another to move forward, to make it to today. Zero days to go. We have been running for four years, but friends, we made it. The spinning has stopped. We now get to exit the other side together. Look to your left. Look to your right. <laughs> Look into the eyes of the brothers and sisters you have made. Think about the everlasting friendships you have forged. Look behind you. Your family and friends who have supported you every step of the way. Who have been there to listen. To encourage you when you wanted out. When you wanted to step out the other side of that door a bit too soon. Thank you. Thank you to my shipmates who have picked me up when I was down or brought me really strong coffee to get through those long nights. Thank you to the faculty, staff, and coaches who have challenged us, mentored us, and spent endless hours working with us to shape us into the best versions of ourselves. In the days leading up to commencement, I reflected on our journey, on our four-year walk together. I was continually reminded of one inspiration of mine for attending the academy. In high school, I read John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath, and I was struck by the simple concept he presented of the I to we mentality. We all came in on our day as individuals, but today we graduate as one class. It was those years of walking in circles, of being sheltered from the outside world, of placing one foot in front of the other. Those years that enabled us to forge ironclad bonds and transformed us from individuals into the proud class of 2014. Changed each of us from an I to a we. And now, today, we will exit the door. It is a strange thought, entering this field together and leaving it separately. In some ways, it is a scary thought that we will be scattered all across the world but I am grateful for the time that we have spent here at our academy. For it has been the 1,424 days which have led to these amazing friendships. And for each of us to know that there will always be someone to call, to celebrate our triumphs, to support us when we stumble or fall, and to wish us all the best as we continue to strive ever forward in the service of our nation. I cannot wait to see the places we will go, the adventures we will have, the positive impacts we will make, and the number of lives we will save. 
Go commencement, go Bears, go 2014. Thank you.